Hello sports fans, Clump here with TTM video number 85. We've got five returns to go through and two purchases. We'll start with the purchases. First one is in addition to the 81 Fleer project. Denny Walling, former MLB outfielder slash utility player. He used to be really good at TTMs, but as of late, he's gotten much harder. I got it for under $3. Looks great. Very happy. Next is an interesting card. From what I gather, this is a 1985 Renata Galasso card. I've never heard of it. Never seen it. The back's weird. The stickers on the the penny sleeve, not the card. But <clears throat> the autograph looks very good. Looks like every Pete Rose I've seen. And I got it for fourteen dollars. So glad to have it. Alright. On to the TTMs. First is a three of four success in Oh no, I didn't put how many days, but I remember it was 12 days, 11 or 12 days. From former Major League pitcher, Jay Howell. Mr. Howell signed the 89 Don Russ, and actually that turned out the best of the three that he signed. A little streaky, but you'll see. He did not sign the 89 Fleer. But he did sign the 92 Don Ross, but streaky, smudged, pretty, not exactly. And the 88 Fleer, also very streaky, but less smudged. And he answered one of two questions. I asked him, what was your favorite stadium to pitch in? And he, Dodger Stadium and Yankee Stadium. And I asked, who was your favorite catcher to work with? And he didn't answer. He may not have seen it. He may not have wanted to say who his favorite was to hurt anybody, not to hurt anyone's feelings, who knows. But, got one question answered. Very cool. Jay Howell, of course. Was drafted in 1976, played in the big leagues from 80 to 94 for seven different teams. He was an all-star three times and a World Series champ in 1988 with those Dodgers. Next is a 4-4 in 10 days from another former major league pitcher, Mr. Dennis Lamp. Mr. Lamp side in the 89 tops, and it looks sharp. Thin black sharpie. He also signs the 1990 Fleer. Looks awesome. Another 88 Fleer. Very cool. And the 81 Fleer for the project. And it is sharp. That turned out just amazing. Dennis Lamp pitched in the major leagues from 77 to 92 for six different teams. He, he pitched in three championship series, and also he was the pitcher that gave up Lou Brock's 3,000th hit and Cal Ripken Jr.'s first major league hit. So, next is a 2-2 two two in eight days from another former major league pitcher, Mr. John Hiller. Mr. Hiller signed the 70 tops. Blue Sharpie looks very nice. <coughs> and 75 tops. Very cool. 
John Hiller pitched in the major leagues from 1965 to 1980, except for 1971 where he was out due to a heart attack. He suffered a heart attack at the age of 27. Pitched 15 seasons in the major leagues, every one of them for the best team ever, the Detroit Tigers. He led the major league in saves in 73. He was comeback player of the year in 73 and the fireman of the year, all in 73. He was an all-star in 74, a World Series champ, of course, in 68. And he holds the record for the most games pitched by a pitcher for the Tigers to this day. And he is a Canadian Baseball Hall of Famer. He was originally born in Canada, but nowadays he lives in Iron Mountain, Michigan, which is way at the top of the UP, at the corner of Canada and Michigan, and Minnesota, and Wisconsin. <laughs> Next is a two of one in eight days from former NFL halfback Billy Ray Barnes. Bill Barnes, got him on this 1959, I don't know, is this a Philadelphia card, or is it a Tops? I am not sure. The TCG needs me to believe it's Tops. But it's a 59, I know that much. And it looks nice. Black Sharpie. Oh, get back here. And Mr. Barnes also inscribed an index card for me. To Kurt, good luck, best wishes, Billy Barnes, H33, number 33. And I will definitely be printing something up and framing that up with a nice picture. And he also put his return address on my return envelope. What a nice guy, what a class act. Mr. Billy Ray Barnes played college ball for Wake Forest. He became the first ACC player to rush for more than a 1,000 yards in a single season. He was an All-American and ACC player of, the ye player of the Year. And he also won a championship with Wake Forest playing third base on their baseball team. Very cool. Then he was drafted by the Eagles in 1957, played in the NFL from 57 to 66 for those Eagles, the Washington Redskins, and the Minnesota Vikings. He went to three po and he went to three Pro Bowls in his NFL career. Bill Barnes, very happy to have that card back. It's my oldest NFL TTM card. Very happy. And the last one is a two of two in seven days. From former Detroit mayor, oh yeah, and NBA guard, Dave Bing. Got Mr. Bing on the 1972, and it looks sweet. And the 1973. Very nice. Dave Bing took over Mayor of Detroit when Kwame Kilpatrick resigned due to his perjury conviction. <laughs> but other than that, he also played some basketball. He was drafted second overall by the Detroit Pistons after a legendary college career at Syracuse. Played in the NBA from 66 to 78 for those Pistons, the Bullets, and the Celtics. He was an All-Star seven times. He was the NBA Rookie of the Year, NBA Scoring Champ in 68. He's had his number retired by Syracuse and the Pistons and is a member of the Basketball Hall, College Basketball Hall of Fame and the Basketball Hall of Fame and a long list of other accomplishments as well. Just one of the greats. I'd like to thank Mr. Dave Bing, Mr. Bill Barnes, Mr. John Hiller, Mr. Dennis Lamp, Jay Howell, thank you guys for watching. Best of luck on your return. See you again soon.